Yo, what is going on, you guys? It is me. I'm here, back in this normal setting. I'm gonna close my door right quick. Be right back. Hey, what's up? All right, don't worry about that. That was really cringy. Um, <coughs> I've been saying that it's gonna be coming soon, and it's here. This is the new ranking or updated ranking. It's taken me long enough of the Spider-Man movies. Um, so let's get right into it. Coming in last place is The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Like I said in my previous ranking, this movie's just all over the place. While the two lead characters, Peter Parker and Gwen Stacy, or Emma Stone and Andrew Garfield, in real world case. They have really good chemistry. It's just overall... Just, I mean, the villains are decent. Rhino was just underused. Um, Green Goblin was just there. I don't like that they don't even mention him in the first movie. But then he comes in this movie. And he's like, oh, hey, y'all. I've been here this whole time. Kind of thing. I just didn't like that. Electro was pretty... Meh. Jamie Foxx. Any movie Jamie Foxx is in is gonna get beaten down by critics. I'm sorry. But overall, it's just a... Eh, kind of a bad movie. Alright, so... Coming in... Wait, how many movies are actually there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Coming in in sixth place, I think. I don't know, that might not be right. Is... Spider-Man 3. Okay, this is overall still better than The Amazing Spider-Man 2. It's just... Some of it was just kind of weird. It was a, a little w bit of a weird movie. The Venom was... Uh, I mean, Topher Grace was a good Eddie Brock. It's just... He wasn't a good Venom. He wasn't. I hear that the reason. Sorry, my throat got a little dry. Um, the reason that the Venom wasn't good is that Sony was honestly kind of like on a like a tight budget, so they couldn't make Venom a really huge like they did in the actual Venom movie, which I personally did kind of like. Um, they just so they just went with the small, normal, average guy looking Venom. Well, I mean that's not really a bad thing. I mean it was still decent. It looked pretty decent. And the black Spider-Man suit, I kind of liked it. It looked pretty good to me. So, and just the plot. I didn't like how many villains there were. They did not need. Let me look. One, two, three. If you really want to count the Green Goblin, a villain in this movie, because of like the final act, he was kind of a hero. I mean, the Sandman looked pretty good. I like what they did with him. It's, it's, I almost said Tom Holland. Oh my god. I almost said Tom Holland. Tobey Maguire was your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Honestly, I like Tobey Maguire as Peter Parker. Or do I like him as Spider-Man? Mm, to a point. And so, that was Spider-Man 3. Oh, yeah, and the, um, Mary Jane and, and, uh, Peter Parker. I am so, I am not on it today. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, they just don't have, um, that good of chemistry. What is her name? Kristen Dust. Dunn Sarver. I don't know how you pronounce her name. They just don't have that good of chemistry, so I'm gonna go ahead and get off this. Alright, this is where my rankings actually changed a lot. I am not even kidding. They changed so much that it'll blow some of mind. Okay. So, coming in and, um, one, two, three, four, five, fifth place. Like I said, my ranking has changed a lot. It is The Amazing Spider-Man. <laughs> yeah, this has went, this movie has went down a couple, you know, my last ranking, it was right above The or not The Amazing Spider-Man 2. It was right above Spider-Man 2. So. Excuse me. 
Got that mellow yellow coming. Okay. Mm. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. But I do I think that it's a better performance of a Spider-Man than Spider-Man and Spider-Man 2? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because, like, like I said, I really don't care for Tobey Maguire and as Spider-Man. I really like him as Peter Parker. I like how a little down-to-earth this is a little bit more. But the thing I really don't like is that... Peter Parker is not the cool kid. He is that socially awkward guy. I don't look at Andrew Garfield's Peter Parker like, oh yeah, yeah, that guy was bullied in high school. No, this guy's a cool kid. People actually come up and ask him if they could take, if he could take pictures of somebody's car or something. And, uh, Marlo Stern said this is the best Spider-Man yet. <laughs> Um, it's just, this guy skateboards and listens to Coldplay. This guy is a cool kid. Um, but aside from that, he is a better Spider-Man than Tobey Maguire is. He's not the definitive Spider-Man like Tobey Maguire is, but he's an overall better one. Emma Stone and Andrew Garfield have good chemistry because I think they were dating at both times during filming for the Amazing Spider-Man movies. Um, so, yeah, let's just move on. Whoa, this has been a really sh quick video. Wow. <laughs> Alright, and next place, <clears throat> this is where, again, this is where it's changed because this is one up, actually. Coming in at third place is Spider-Man. Okay, so I've rewatched this film, and I can say this is a better film than The Amazing Spider-Man. Um, yeah. While I do think the effects are really bad, honestly, even. They just haven't aged well. Like, that doesn't really hold it back. It looks like an updated PS3 graphics once you think about when it comes to the CGI. <clears throat> but, that does not make it a bad movie overall. Um, <clears throat> this is one of the movies that define my childhood, and I'm probably being a little biased on it. Same with what's up next. Oh yeah, I gotta talk about End of the Spider-Verse. <laughs> wow <laughs> I forgot all about Into the Spider-Verse I am so sorry <laughs> which I mean it's not up yet it's you'll be, we'll be talking about here about it here in a little bit but off topic but I really do appreciate this movie considering it did kind of like give all the people that were had families lost during the September 11th attacks. It did give them a little bit of a little bit of something to look forward to, because you know, the, at this time they were going through a lot. So, and this did give the American flag with Spider-Man in every film that did start this off, because. At this point, you would think Captain America, but more Spider-Man is the American icon now, I guess you could say. Even though that was way off topic, I am so sorry. I'm supposed to be talking about this movie. Wow. Oh my god. I am so sorry. I just wasted a minute of y'all's lives. I am so sorry. Um, but... I mean, the plot of this movie is really good. This has a outstanding villain. And Doc... Not Doctor... Oh, my God! I am not... I was thinking about Doctor Octopus and the Spider-Man video game right there. Um. <clears throat> so, it in Green Goblin... I'm sorry. Green Goblin is a good villain in this movie. And, um... It's just... This is the Peter Parker, much like Tom Holland, that when you look at this guy, you think, unlike Andrew Garfield, you're like, 
Yeah, this guy was bullied in high school. Not that he skateboards to Coldplay and everyone asks if he could get the pictures taken. That's the only thing I can really nag on Andrew Garfield for. But I can't nag on this guy's Peter Parker. Tobey Maguire's Peter Parker. I know I've taken a lot of swigs out in this video. I've taken a lot of drinks in this video. I mean, y'all can count down how many drinks I've taken in this video and just comment down how many because I'm probably going to be taking a lot more because I've still got two, three more movies to go, so it'll get longer. Um, uh, just overall, this is a good film. It kind of holds up well to a point. It has really good Spider-Man action in it. So, that was number three, Spider-Man 2002. Thank you, Sam Raimi, for these movies, because these movies define my childhood. Just like number three, this is the movie that represents my childhood so much. Number three, Spider-Man 2, I know. All right, number, numbers one, no, oh my, numbers um, how many? One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four, three. Numbers five, four, and three are the ones that have changed a lot. So, I'm sorry, my OCD. Whoa. Excuse me. This is one that has changed a lot because this was right under The Amazing Spider Man in my last ranking video. So, with that being said, we can get right into it. Um, um, this is a movie that just represents my childhood more than any other movie. This is a movie that I can quote line from line. I was at my grandparents the other day, at, and my sister was there too, and we were watching this movie, and I was just quoting nearly every single line. I'm not even kidding. Take, count it. I don't even. You can count this too. Count it. Put it in the comments. <clears throat> Almost choked. Excuse me. Count it. I don't even. Care. Put it down in the comments if you want to. I don't even care. Um. <laughs> I have a drinking problem. Um, so this movie represents my childhood, so I'm going to just get in the plot. This has the best villain out of this whole trilogy. Now I could say Dr. Octopus, just like, just like in Spider-Man, he's a good villain, he really is. The cast really just steals the show, they act their hearts out in this movie. Like, from everybody, from... Toby Maguire to James Franco to what is his name again? It's not JJ Abrams. JK Simmons. Okay. From JK Simmons, from Toby Maguire to Kristen Dunst, even though they really don't have good chemistry at all. To James Franco, to Rosemary Harris, from J.K. Simmons, to even Dr. Octopus, whatever his name is. You know what? I'm not even going to look. Are you kind of blanking What's this? Wow, Kevin Feige's old. No offense, Kevin. Um... <laughs> But from, from everybody in this movie, they act their hearts out, and this movie still holds up really well. Wait, disc two? There's no second disc. It says disc one. Just the normal... The normal stuff. And disc two, the making the amazing and just all that good stuff. And boom. You done goofed up. You done goofed. Even though this box came out, like almost even though this box came out like 13 years ago and the disc is still outstanding the disc has held up so well I'm not even kidding I mean the plot makes sense the plot is wonderful 
the humor, even though there's really not that many, that much humor, it, it's really good. The effects are a little bit better. Or the effects are better than the first Spider-Man movie. I it just everything is really well done about this movie. The action was well choreographed. Just everything about this is good. The final fight on the train, that's even though it's not the final fight. The the fi the train fight is amazing. One of the best superhero fights of all time. It's great. If you haven't seen this movie, I recommend it. Really, I recommend all these movies, even the bad ones, because I still think they're really good. All these movies are good. I really don't hate any of these movies. So, like I said, this is a... If you're on my channel, if you haven't seen this movie, this is a must-see, just like the next two. Oh, great. Oh, great. Wow! I am such an idiot today. And number two, I do not have this movie because it's still in the theaters, and that is Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Guys, this movie surprised the heck out of me. I knew it was going to be good because the trailers made it look outstanding. Count it. Count it. <sighs> the trailers are made it look like it was going to be an amazing Spider-Man movie. It may also made it look a, like a spectacular. It was. It even made it look like it was gonna be out or ultimate, and also really unlimited. No, nope, none of those puns were intended, by the way. Um, <laughs> oh, it's such a horrible pun maker. Oh my god, the puns, the puns are horrible. I mean, back to it. Um. I mean, they made all... The animation was really good. Even though the budget was like $90 million. That was good. The animation was outstanding. Everything about this movie was amazing. Again, no pun intended. Everything. It was great. The San Lee cameo kind of made me... It kind of got the emotions inside of me going a little bit. Because... It, I mean, since it was like one of the last ones he ever did I mean the post credit scene was great the little Stan Lee quote at the end of um and during the credits actually it was like the mid credit thing it showed off a Stan Lee quote with Stan Lee's sunglasses or with the sun yeah with Stan Lee's sunglasses wow I mean, it was great. The whole movie was great. The animation was great. The one death in the movie was was emotional. It actually made me cry. Some of the plot twists were really good. I mean, though, some of them probably did happen in the comics. The final fight was really good. Oh, there were two deaths in this movie. First one didn't really make me cry that much. The second death, which is like the death, the pretty much the climactic death to where everything, the, the motivational death, was what really got it going. Um, just everything about this movie was great, and overall, I give this movie a good eight out of ten. Well, very well done. Well, no, I'll give it a 9 out of 10. This is this movie is an 8 out of 10. Well, no, 8.5 out of 10. 8 out of, or 8 out of 10. No, I'll give my points to all the movies at the end of this video. So, that was Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. And coming in at number 1, which is the one that's not on that hasn't made an appearance on this list, Spider-Man Homecoming. Guys, this is the most relatable Spider-Man movie there is out there. I Words can't express how much I really like this movie. I mean, I like this movie. The plot was really good. The reviews are really good on this movie. I mean, this is just a spectacular Spider-Man movie. Also, no pun intended. I don't know why I had to get that close to the camera. I'm sorry. Man, I should use this camera angle a lot more. I like it. 
by the way, I was watching Batman Bad Blood before I recorded this, so if that thing in the background looks weird, it's just from the movie. It's not a weird movie at all, it's good. Off-topic stuff. Count it. Count it all, I don't even care. Woo! Excuse me again. Yeah. Um... Just all these movies on this list were good, but this is better than all of them. I mean, this movie is amazing. Also, no pun intended. This is just one of those movies that when I think of Spider-Man, this is one of them that comes into my mind, besides maybe Spider-Man 2 or something like that. It's just this movie is the definitive Spider-Man movie. It's, it's wonderful, and I can't wait for Far From Home. At Tony Stark, even though a lot of people don't like him... Because he kind of like overshadows the main character. And I'm like, nah, he really doesn't in my opinion. It's just, you got to have that mentor figure in your movies. And um, just everything about this film is good. It really skips like his origin story. Like the, all the other ones do. Like Spider-Man and the Amazing Spider-Man. The only one that really doesn't is, the only other one that does it is Spider Man in the Spider Verse, which that really isn't even about Peter Parker, it's about Miles Morales, so I have to get Miles Morales origin story in there. Why did I just throw this down? I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, okay. Um, <laughs> such an idiot. I'm so stupid. Um so everything about this movie is good. This is my main must see movie. Like same with into the Spider-Verse, Spider-Man 2, and all the other ones. These are all must-see movies. If you haven't seen them, go check them out. They're all really good. Even the ones down at the bottom, they're pretty good. Even though I did... I mean, The Amazing Spider-Man 2 is just your, like, bad Spider-Man movie. But, Spider-Man Homecoming, it's the most relatable Spider-Man. It's... It's the best Spider-Man. So, this one is a 10 out of 10 Spider-Man. So, my ratings for all of these, this here's the 6 out of 10, 6.7 out of 10, 7 out of 10, Seven point five out of 10, 9 out of 10, well not, no, too much, 8.5 out of 10, 9.5 out of 10, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse is your 9.8 out of 10. Spider-Man Homecoming, 10 out of 10. All right, guys. So, thank you guys so much for watching. This is one that a lot of people, not really a lot of people because no one talks about my videos anymore. <laughs> Guess what, y'all? Count it. Dilly dilly. All right. That was stupid. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm in a mellow yellow. I'm out of my drink. I'm, I, I'm not okay. <laughs> I am okay. I'm not mentally retarded. Um, I'm not, I don't need mental help. I promise you guys. Um... So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I just recently hit 65 subscribers, and I do thank you guys for that. So, that's going to be all for today. Like, oh wait, give me a comment on what you guys want me to do next. Also, comment how many times I took a drink in this video. And comment what you, want, what you guys want me to do next. Uh, I can rank all the MCU movies, even though that'll be like a one hour video. So... And I can also do the Star Wars movies. I can... I mean, just tell me what y'all want me to do. So, that's going to be all for today. So, like, comment, and subscribe for a few more to do. See y'all in the next video. Bye!